First of all then, how has training been in your first few days as the, the Wednesday manager? How would you assess how it's gone? Yes, uh, I have a very good feeling. The uh, team and uh, the players are very hard working. Their intensive was uh, the last days. My whole staff, the medical team, my players, it gives me a very good feeling for the next uh, weeks and months. George Boyd's just been talking about the fact that you've had them doing double sessions. Why did you feel the need to, to do that? Yeah, I think it is important that we uh, working intensive to come in a better situation. We uh, stay on a position on the, on the list that we cannot uh, do it quietly. So uh, I will say, say hard, but uh, also intensive uh, working in all the things that we think that we must do. So uh, yeah, it is uh, very professional, so I like that. Would you say that the, the Sheffield Wednesday squad that you inherited are unfit? I, I cannot speak and I'm, uh, I'm not speaking of, uh, over the past, but uh, I must try to do the best things for this team and for the players I now have uh, the last four days uh, with the training sessions. In terms of injury, Sam Hutchinson, could he be available for you for the match against Sheffield United? Uh, we have a lot of uh, players who not can play. Uh, they are uh, for a long time injury or uh, for the last uh, games they are not uh, can play. So uh, the focus is uh, that we can let play tomorrow players who can give 100%. So uh, I uh, have the feeling that uh, the players uh, they training with us the last days are good, uh, have a good performance for tomorrow. So uh, that is our focus. How, um, how hopeful are you that one or two, several injured players will be available to you in, in the not too distant future? Because, well, as you know, there are a lot of injury problems at, at this football club. Yeah, of course, as a manager, uh, I will, uh, all the players come back tomorrow, but uh, I know that is uh, very difficult. But I think that uh, some players maybe come back in the next uh, weeks and uh, the medical team, they working uh, every hour a day to, to become the players back on the, on the field. So, uh, yeah, we must have patience. So uh, that's why I must now uh, look what is the best, uh, what we can do every day to uh, prepare us for uh, the next games. And have you found that the players have, have, have bought into everything that you've wanted them to do this week? Um, it was uh, very difficult uh, when a new coach coming to a team you must look what uh, have they uh, do in the past and uh, I'm studied uh, a lot of games I studied uh, the whole uh, situation from the team so uh, I have the time not what I like to do uh, so uh, you have only three four days to prepare on your team so uh, it is a hard situation for now. When you come in the summer and you have six, seven weeks, you can prepare a team and, and you learn the players uh, uh, a little bit better. Now you must, in a very slow, slowly time, um, preparing a team for uh, a derby tomorrow. You, um, you've had a look at the under-23s as well this week. Have any or many impressed you enough to bring them into the to the first team squad with the injury situation you have? Yeah, we have this week uh, every day four, five, six players from uh, under 23. Uh, we will play every day the last days 11 against 11. So I must uh, take them to the team. It is also a chance for the young players. And what for the young players is, uh, is that she become maybe also a chance. Maybe it can be that tomorrow play one of two. Uh, but they are one of them is tomorrow. I think also in the in the 18 players for the game. You've had it's only been a few days, of course. But is it in your mind to try and add to the squad and, and bring in transfers between now and, and the end of January? Now that you've had a few days with them and, and seen a bit more closely what you've got. Yeah, it's a little bit complexing. Um, you say before also that uh, a lot of players injured, so we must also exact know when come come one, two, three, four players back. Um, we must have patience, but we must also, and that is, I think, the important thing. 
me as a manager, I must focus and concentrate in for every day that we're training together and that we're preparing for the next game. But uh, what in football is can be everyday change. So uh, we keep an eye, of course, for what's happening in this uh, next week. We everyone know that uh, end of January, you have the time to do something. So. Uh, we have patience, we have the time, but uh, we must now have to focus on my team, on my players that I have now on the training. And when you look at the, the squad, where, where do you think additions are needed then? E even in taking into account players that will undoubtedly be available to you again in a few weeks' time, Wh which areas do you feel could do with strengthening? Yes, yeah, a good question. And uh, of course, I studied uh, the last day uh, the whole team. All the players, they are now there. Uh, but uh, from the goalkeeper, uh, in the defending, in the midfield, in the attacking, there are no players who now stays on the on the pitch. So there are a lot of uh, players not there. So uh, I cannot say now today uh, we will a defender, a midfielder, or the attacker. So I must, uh, what I say before, um, have patience for what we're doing in the next uh, uh, future. Is it imperative, though, that you are able to, to add to the squad and given scope maybe to add to the squad, final question on this, over the course of the next two weeks, two or three weeks? Um, the focus is uh, for tomorrow and for the next games, but... Uh, we must try to give uh, what we have, and uh, for 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 all now who stay the last days on the on on the on the team. So uh, we must keep uh, an eye and for all the coach the the focus of uh, what we do every day. First match is a very big one. Sheffield United. What what do you know about them? What have the the coaching staff and the the match reports told you about Sheffield United? Yeah, it's a special game, of course, uh, for everyone. Uh, derbies are special, so um, we have a lot of respect for uh, United. But I, as a manager, I have always respect for every opponent. But they make a very good job. They have a good position in the league. So we must try to give our best. And we know we lose uh, the first uh, derby game uh, with us, so uh, we try to change the situation tomorrow. Have the players spoken about that this week, the, the players that were here then, and, and what went wrong that day to you? Yeah, we, we, we spoke about that, but um, you know, we have, of, of the team and the players, they have the last weeks not so much confidence. So why tomorrow is a special game, you can come with so much m motivation and maybe it is a turnaround to, to, to the next games that you have in the league. So I'm happy that we have tomorrow the game. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm happy with that. Do you feel that a match like this should Sheffield Wednesday win the game? It could help kickstart the, the latter part of the season. Yeah, uh, that's why you must be win, and you can take three points uh, with with us. So uh, <laughs> we must wait tomorrow. Then uh, we can see after. In your uh, long playing and, and managerial career, what are your experiences of, of derby contests? Have you been successful in other derby matches, whether it's in Holland as a player or in in Germany as a as a manager? Yeah, over so many years. Uh, I have the, the derbies in the Netherlands, but uh, as, as a player, but as uh, a trainer, coach in uh, in Germany, I have fantastic uh, derbies. Uh, what I have, uh, yeah, in my uh, in my head. So uh, I think I can tomorrow after the game, I can remember what I have in the in the past. So uh, maybe uh, it is all a little bit the same. What uh, what what I have uh, uh, learned and become in, in German and now here in England. How do you set your... You, we were talking a couple of moments ago about Sheffield United, but how do you set Sheffield Wednesday out tomorrow to try and combat them? What's the, what's the game plan, I suppose? Yeah, the game plan... Uh, better I cannot say that today. <laughs> My colleague, I think, uh, he will not know that uh, what I now say, but... Uh, Yes, um, 
my team had uh, not enough confidence, I think, but uh, they need stability. We must have a strong defending. We will go into attacking, but it must uh, have a good balance. So, um, yeah, that's why we the last day have uh, intensive work together. So, uh, what we have training in the last days in the sessions, we must try it tomorrow, make uh, a good performance with that. I think the just as a final question from me that in the in the previous derby match at Hillsborough, uh, a lot of uh, Sheffield Wednesday fans mm -hmm. came away from there feeling embarrassed by the performance and the result. How important is it that? Tomorrow it's, it's very different, regardless of the, the ultimate outcome of the match. Um, yeah, you will always win, of course. And uh, when you are derby, uh, not win, everyone is uh, not happy with that. So we, as a team, the players, we will win, and you know that gives the best feeling, uh, and also with uh, with the fans. So uh, we will try that we give everything so that we also can win the game tomorrow. You, you, sorry, you, you, you're understandably not outlining the way that you're going to approach this game tactically, but what do you expect of Sheffield United from, from what you've seen? I mean, presumably you've watched videos of them, etc. Yes, of course, we have the last days also studied uh, quality from uh, United. And I say before, I respect that. Uh, so uh, we must now have uh, tools so that we can uh, maybe stop the quality. And uh, we have uh, a lot of working also this uh, last days with uh, video. So uh, we let try that the players know what, uh, what uh, come tomorrow. Uh, uh, in both sides, what uh, we must do in the defending and hopefully what we can do uh, in the offensive. So uh, it must be uh, a good, uh, uh, in both uh, d d directions, a good uh, performance from us. They're a, they're a team renowned for attacking in every game, you know, trying to be on the front, front foot. Does that shape and influence the way that, that you have to look to approach this game? Yeah, of course, we, we look to uh, every opponent uh, that we play in the next uh, uh, games. And, but we must not alone look to uh, our opponent, we must uh, look to ourselves. What will we do? What must we do? What must we do in the defending? What must we do on a position that every player knows what is uh, doing, uh, what we must do in tomorrow? So uh, it is uh, a working together. And we went together, but of course, uh, it's uh, it is hard uh, to in this situation to play uh, the derby tomorrow. What sort of game do you expect in, in character? Fast, fierce? What, 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 what sort of game? Attacking? I or think negative. Even? I what think, think? <laughs> it is tomorrow. I, 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 it will be a fast game. I think uh, it is a hard game. It is a, a game with uh, with atmosphere with emotions so uh, you must also have a mental strongly uh, situation uh, uh, you must do what you can and not what you not can so that is also uh, a quality i think and uh, i hope we sit in a good uh, uh, performance tomorrow how excited are you personally will you sleep well tonight <laughs> I sleep always uh, good, uh, but when we're tomorrow winning, I sleep very well. But when we're not winning, it is not a good night for me. So uh, it is for personally, yeah. for also for my players, uh, different. But uh, yeah, we go very positive to, to tomorrow to the game and uh, we see what happens.